This issue of human-turtle interactions is a very ancient one. It goes back tens of thousands of years. Um, and in some cases, it's been very complicated, very rich in, in different cultural aspects. Humans are curious things. We, we ask questions and we, we have spiritual beliefs. And, and I can't help but think that the first time a, a human being saw a marine turtle, it was, there was more than, wow, that's going to be steak tonight. I, I think there must have been something more to it. The oldest marine turtle human relationship that can be proven is an archaeological site in South Africa called Sibudu Cave, which today is 15 kilometers from the shore, 60,000 years before present. And there, a bone of a marine turtle was found in a worked archaeological site. What they did with the turtle, nobody knows, but you can certainly go back 6,000 years before the present, and then you begin to find archaeological sites where turtle remains are, for example, in human graves. What's particularly intriguing there is it's not just the bone in the grave, but often, for example, the skull, the head of the turtle, is right up against the human head, as if something was so important that you had to get the human bone and the turtle bone together. Hu uh, turtle bones on chests, on, on, on other parts of the human body. And it goes back even to the, the first form of writing, which is called plastromancy. It was on a turtle shell in China. And you would, you would carve something on the turtle shell, you know, the question with a couple of answers. You put it, the plaster on in the fire, and whichever side cracks, that gives you your answer. The Chinese, for instance, have always associated turtles with longevity and, and with Viagra, if you will. So because they have, they're so fecund, they have so many eggs. And even to today, there are many turtles, including the golden coin turtle especially, that they believe will cure impotence, it will cure cancer. The first coin ever created by man was developed by the early Greeks. The coin clearly depicts a sea turtle. The earliest coinage that was developed, certainly in the Mediterranean, quite likely anywhere, there are very clear representations of marine turtles on this, on this early coin. Uh, why the, why the, these people felt it was important to put a, a turtle representation on this first coin is not known, but it was to have done it shows it was a, of immense importance to them. The widespread nature of finding turtles represented in different societies at different times going back thousands of years, finding it today, finding it today in countries where there's no access to the sea, indicates, at least to me, that there's something very general here. Um, what it is, I don't know. Uh, but you will find similar sort of creation myths for Hindus, is that our world is held up on the backs of four elephants, each facing a cardinal direction. And those elephants stand on a giant turtle. But within Hinduism, there is also a belief. There is a point where Vishnu is saving the world, saving humanity, by taking the form of a turtle. Now, interestingly, if you look into Algonquin mythology or mythology of Polynesians, you find something very, very similar. And there, the marine turtle was part of the creation. You go into Sonora, Mexico, the Concaco, or the Seri Indians, to this day worship leatherback turtles as, as their ancestor. So these things keep popping up in different places, very different culture. You look at the people, they don't look the same. They, they don't speak the same language. They have very different ways of living. But somewhere deep in, in, in into their cultural psyche, there, there's something similar. It's, it's mysterious and it's, it's intriguing.